Yes, you heard it. No fat. Let's, uh, you know, jump right into it. Hello beautiful beings, my name is Nick and welcome back to my channel. The purpose of this channel is to empower people, to get them more spiritually connected, and to raise their own vibration. So what is NoFap? NoFap can be a, a challenge for some, and it's a lifestyle for many. And. Um, yeah, it's not the, the easiest one, let's say. <laughs> well, it's the art, basically it's the art of not watching porn and not playing with yourself downstairs. Basically, there are many levels to it. Uh, there's like, a, well, the, the main known ones, let's say, there are like th three levels. So there's like easy mode, then you have hard mode, and then you have muck mode. So from what I understand, the easy mode is just no porn. The hard mode is no porn, no playing with downstairs and no releasing. And then you have a monk mode, which is all of the previous ones that I just said, but with some added, uh, added things to it. So no, uh, I guess no devious thoughts or no like, or people try to manage as much as possible. Uh, to avoid any sexual content around them, basically. Uh, to avoid triggering and to avoid, uh, you know, peaking and then, you know, releasing afterwards. Because sometimes, you know, it can lead that pretty quickly sometimes when you have those big urges. Why in the hell would people even want to do that? Right sounds crazy. So when, when I was younger, basically, you know, there was that saying, people, that, oh, playing with yourself downstairs is basically considered, like, a sin. So, uh, you know, I thought this was, like, completely crazy and was complete nonsense. That's what I usually thought. But, uh, you know, I now I have a different perspective on it. I don't fully believe what they say, you know, about that. But I do adhere to a lot, to a lot of the same ideals. I think that... If you don't do it, it can greatly improve your life. Our society has normalized porn so much. I personally find it, you know, slightly disgusting, but that's my opinion. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it made like a very, very um, sexualized uh, culture. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think we can, I guess, do better than that. Uh, like there were some apparently some studies. Oh, like you know, if you don't if you don't release once in a while, it's gonna you know it's gonna lead to prostate problems or prostate cancer or whatever. Well, I personally don't believe any of that stuff. I be I personally believe it's BS. Um, maybe there's a small link to it, but I've seen like so many benefits from from no fat in general that uh, the benefits definitely outweighs. The cons, but I don't believe that those cons are 100% founded because I think it was like one study or something that was talking about it. Or, but I, I don't think it's truly like a, I think it's more like a, a cultural myth that more people say, and I don't think it's um, you know I don't think it's uh, I think it's more like a rumor that people are saying, oh, it's gonna, you know, because people are saying it, they just repeat, monkey say, monkey do. But have you actually truly looked into it? Have you actually truly, you know, like, thought about it? And, you know, dive into it and actually try NoFap for yourself? If you do it, you'll see, like, all, like, a lot of benefits from it. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it can be very beneficial, let's say. I believe that, like, your body uh, will find its natural way of actually uh, cleaning itself naturally. Um, you know, if you have like excess too much, I think that's why your body uses wet dreams as to uh, as to kind of clean itself out naturally. So think about it for a second. So when you release, when you release. Uh, your brain will produce a lot of dopamine, like a huge dopamine surge, as uh, kind of a reward, <laughs> a 
basically telling telling you, hey, good job, buddy, like giving you a pat on the back, good job, buddy, man, like you've done it, like you've uh, basically impregnated a woman. That's what he thinks, right? But if it's only pixels on a screen, you're absolutely fooling yourself. When you think about it, the porn industry has made so much money in the last couple decades that it's pretty much like any business. It wants to grow. It wants to grow and doesn't want to lose profits. So I believe that they will do anything, and I repeat, anything, to try to make it more normal and to not brainwash, but to convince people that it's a good thing. So you gotta watch out for that. Anyways, just keep that in mind. Yeah, you couldn't, like, you could not even fathom the number of relationships um, porn can can do to like destroy it. Like, you can even fathom how how many relationship porn is like completely destroyed worldwide. I believe. I believe a lot of them got destroyed because of that. That it is a major problem. It affects a lot of men worldwide. A lot of relationships in general, not just men, men and women. And then, what happens with porn addiction problems? Well, I, I truly believe that porn addiction problems is a big, uh, well, problem in general is a is a big thing for a lot of men, especially in the in the Western societies, and um, and I and I think it basically. Um, that it fries, it fries your dopamine receptors inside your brain, or temper with them, anyways. And then, when those guys that have big porn addiction problems go and do the real thing with a real woman, then what happens is that their brain uh, has received all those, you know, dopamine spikes from all those releases they, <laughs> they've had themselves. Um, that when with the, the real, uh, real with uh, with a real woman, uh, they don't have as much uh, dopamine spikes. So basically, they got fooled. Uh, they got fooled, and because of that, then they don't have as much. Anyways, downstairs, it's not as much interested than the porn that they were listening, uh, that they were watching, and stuff like that. So it can cause a lot of problem. What a lot of guys probably, you know, don't get as hard and you could like, there are many communities that, well, I know two anyways on Reddit that talks about it. Uh, there's uh, two, uh, so on, on Reddit you, you have like the no fat movement and then you have the, uh, the semen retention one. And what happens with people that have, has, that has like a lot, that had a lot of, uh, or an addiction problem and uh, and stuff like that while uh, it kind of fries the dopamine receptors slash temper with the dopamine receptors inside their brain and then when they do the real deal um, while well, Mr. PP doesn't want to uh, respond as much let's say and it can lead to problems because because it's not as rewarding to the brain dopamine wise to do the real thing than on the porn when somebody has watched way too much of it. Sometimes uh, some porn users will uh, seek novelty. They will seek novelty, they will uh, try, like because of like those dopamine spikes they always get, people like, a lot of people don't realize it, but then you watch porn and then it leads you to another type of porn a more twisted kind of porn and you know sometimes it can lead into a, like a rabbit hole and then you you know you end up in a part that you find like slightly disgusting like oh my god I'm really watching that oh well, yeah <laughs> so and I think it's because of those dopamine spikes so basically the brain seeks novelty and something more more new more uh, uh, more different you know and then you know to seek those higher dopamine spikes 
and that was leads into that rabbit hole for, for a lot of guys, I think. But, after everything I just said, there is a way to heal, I believe, and no fat uh, is the way to go, in my opinion. So there is a way, I believe, to heal those dopamine receptors in your brain, and it's to basically just to abstain, abstain from porn. And if you want to be more intensive, you you've really damaged those dopamine receptors inside your brain, um, you know, you can go in full hard mode or in mug mode if you want to. And sometimes uh, what they say in general, it takes, it takes, you know, between maybe one to three months, maybe so, sometimes some people it takes a bit more to actually fully do, you know, the, the starting process to fully heal those dopamine receptors. And usually people are starting to feel better afterwards. Um, you know, people will start enjoying life a little bit more because they don't have as much as like those dopamine spikes. Uh, they will start to laugh more in life. They will enjoy, you know, those little things in life that they usually didn't enjoy. And uh, yes, yeah, uh, like I've I've lived it. I've I've seen it. And uh, yeah, my my life is just so much better with it with no fat. <laughs> Anyways, so there are just so many benefits to uh, to that and I truly recommend it to any guy to at least try, to at least try it and see and you know, you don't necessarily even need to have a problem. And uh, you can just try and you see some of those benefits and you're like, oh my god, yeah, I think there's something to it. There's, uh, I think the law of attraction works a lot better, you attract a lot more things around you people are more attracted to you, you get, uh, I feel that you're a lot more, I feel that uh, for men anyways, uh, it makes us a lot more manly and actually deepens the voice a little bit. I really found that my, my voice has deepened a little bit since, and I love it, absolutely love it. it. Makes you more masculine and women love that. Anyways, that is all for today's video. Uh, thank you everybody for watching and uh, Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Um, and remember guys, you only have one life. You better make the best out of it and start working towards your own greatness. Peace guys. Take care.